Hello, my dearest wrestling fans. It's just a few days away, and that time is ticking away for that fateful day for none other than Leaping Lanny. Because that day is coming, Leaping Lanny. The day of the Eye of the Tiger. That's right, Leaping Lanny, the Eye of the Tiger, the day that everybody in the wrestling world is talking about. That fateful day when you and I will meet in that big steel cage match with your prestigious TV title up for a full 60 minutes with no time limit, no disqualification, and special referee, Jim Bunning. But the biggest prize of all, Leaping Lanny, is that one of us, yes, one of us, is going to leave that ring completely bald. No more hair. And if I look confident, it's because I am. I sort of remind myself of Joe Namath when he went out on a limb in 1969 and predicted victory for the New York Jets over the Baltimore Colts. And you know what? The Jets beat the tar out of the Colts. And Namath was, Namath was famous forever, just like I'm going to be famous forever. And I'm going to get that shot at Randy Savage's world title belt. And you're going to be a nobody in wrestling. Leaping Lanny will be remembered forever as the man that lost the big one. The man that couldn't cut the mustard. The man that took up Hustler Rip Rogers' challenge and lost. And I, Hustler Rip Rogers, will be remembered as one of the most famous men in wrestling. The man that made Leaping Lanny on that fateful day completely bald. Leaping Lanny, so if we could show those highlights, Rip I'd like Rogers to get your beat. comments on it. <laughs> Rip Rogers beat him, that's all. You can see right now in this ring, Hustler Rip Rogers Taking the best over the top rope, leaping land is helpless. He is helpless. The referee is down. Hustler Rip Rogers. Before a sellout crowd, I beat him Pistol Tez Watley. A sellout crowd in Combs, Kentucky. They couldn't get it any more people in the building. What tremendous athlete I am. Well, watch Pez Watley on the floor here. Pez, you look like you're uh, ready to interfere. Interfere, and you can see right now, merely helping that young man back into the ring. He always no, I saw you. I saw you interfering yeah, right you there. You got trouble with your eyes anyway, boy. Well, I'm the cameras don't interfere. lie, and everybody just saw that. We In all know, George Weingroff, that you're legally blind, and everybody can see right now that I'm beating Leaping Lenny. One, two, three, in the middle of the ring. Not only and I am my only Mr. Southern Kentucky first place. I'm going to win that prestigious TV title in the Eye of the Tiger match. And Leaping Lanny's head will be shaved bald. B-A-L-D bald. Mr. Southern Kentucky to you, Mr. Weingroff. Look at your hero now. Unfortunately, here, this was a, a non-title match for you, Rip, but uh, it's going to be a different situation when you're in a steel cage match with Leaping Lanny and Pistol Pez Watley will not be able to interfere and come to your aid. Well, I just want to say that I didn't come to his aid anyway because of the fact that Hustler Rip Rogers with 60 minutes will beat Leaping Lanny. I'll tell you what, no time limit, no disqualification, and bald is what you're going to be, Leaping Lanny. B-A-L-D, just like the champion Hustler. Hush, he'll be there. I'm out here talking and going on. And i just like y'all to know who is going to be the champion. Hustler Rip Rogers, the new television champion in Rupp Arena. Count on that, baby. Well-spoken, King. Not only am I going to be the reigning Mr. Southern Kentucky and holder of one half the United States Tag Team Championship belt, I'm also going to take away Leaping Lanny's prestigious TV title belt. And well, well, Rip, I him think God. Uh... in the middle of the ring in that steel cage match. Remember, no time limit, Leaping Lanny. No disqualification. That TV title's on for a full 60 minutes, and I train all day, so I am really going to be in shape. And that cage, ha <laughs> ha. Well, you sound pretty confident for a man that's going to be in a steel cage, and you're not going to have Pistol Pez Watley to interfere and help you. But I've got the advice of the most intelligent man of all wrestling, one of the smartest men of all wrestling, and one of the strongest men all wrestling, Pistol Pez Watley. Leaping Lanny, you're going to be mine. Mr. Southern Kentucky, I'm number one. You're going to be bald, Leaping Lanny. Bald. Pez Watley, I'd like to, before you leave here a minute, I want to ask you what? about that cake you in the got face. Because that was pretty humorous. Yes, I do. I want to ask cake? you about that. I'm going to tell, tell you another. Shut up out there. 
I'm going to tell you, Ronnie Garvin, you have embarrassed me for the last time. And I'm going to tell you what, you don't embarrass royalty. You don't embarrass kings and presidents such as myself like that no more. I'm going to tell you, I don't like that attitude that you got. I'm going to tell you right now. And all the rest of you here, out there, you think Ronnie Garvin. Big gold and a billfold, so swole that I can't get the shit closed. So I money fold and rubber band wrap and when it